As the Biden administration rolls out a trillion dollar student loan forgiveness plan, there are many questions that remain. There are also new challenges for those the plan is supposed to help. Our Rosalind Freeman brings us an update. Rosalind. The White House anticipates nearly 400,000 Mississippians could receive debt relief through the plan. I spoke with the financial aid director at Mississippi University for Women to shed light on what she knows so far. According to the Federal Student Aid website, individual borrowers who make less than $125,000 yearly can have up to $10,000 of their federal student loan debt forgiven. For those federal student loan borrowers, here's what's next. There will be an application process that should open sometime during the month of October. Um, we do not have a date yet of when that will actually open, and it will be through the Department of Education's website. And students will have until December of 2023 to submit the application. While borrowers are gearing up for Biden's student loan forgiveness application, the Mississippi Better Business Bureau says that this relief program opens a new window for scammers to separate more people from their money. The first red flag when it comes to, a, you know, a, to a scam when it comes to this is someone contacting you, getting a text message, you know, get your loan forgiven or you're eligible for an extra, uh, what we've been hearing, you're eligible to get uh, an extra $20,000 in loan forgiveness. Click on this link. O'Hara says scammers send web links through text requesting information to steal your identity. Government is not going to contact, it's not going to call you, text you, email you and say, hey, uh, you ready to get your loan forgiven? Um, you know, you're going to have to go to them and apply for this. The BBB wants borrowers to remember student loan information will only come by mail or email. Follow the official studentaid.gov website and never send money up front.